So obviously I've got the smart drive generator on the floor at the moment and I just wanted to show you the main problems with it. The first one is, <clears throat> and all the problems are due to the welding. The first one is just here, where you'll see it comes out and goes in quite a lot. Whereas the right hand one is pretty, it's pretty straight. So that's the first problem. The second problem, and I'll just need to take the stators off for one of them to show you. And that bolt comes out of that collar. Now, different size Allen key. I should have all the same size Allen key bolts, really. And we can see that slides forward. That is now loose to slide forward and backwards. And I guess what I need to try and do is get everything stuck in as far as we can. Uh, it's actually, I think, let me take it off and I'll show you. Right, let's take that out. Let's put that back on. Right, I don't know how well you can see this here. You should be able to see it fine. The main problem is these bearings got messed up. The idea was the inner race uh, will stay there and this will move. But when it either got corrupted with regards to this, when it came out of alignment, or when it was from where I was trying to weld the bearings, but either way, that's the fundamental problem with it. So I had to skim this down so that just rolls over it, so it's not like on, on a bearing. You can see one bit of the bearing should stay there and the other bit should move, but it all moves because it's all joined together, unfortunately. So that's the main problem with the main two problems with the design so I'm just going to take it apart and then I need to see if I can improve uh, by sort of taking some space off the bolts at the back and maybe I mean I don't really want to do this so I, I probably won't but you could grind those off so that you could get it in further let's just put it in again to see how far it goes before it starts hitting something so we can see it still goes there if I move it there, there is something catching on the bottom, so let me try turning it up. I need a short round key wrench. See now, <clears throat> when we tighten that, something is coming into contact with something. So yeah, this side, Let me just bolt this back on the frame so it doesn't fall out. This one, let's undo this. Cool. That has got a collar there, which I'm going to remove. Now I put that on there to stop forwards and backwards movement. So when we take it out, by the way, just a reminder, this is the rotor with the smaller magnets, you can see. So that doesn't help. We'll look at some wiring diagrams at the end of the video to show you that I may have inadvertently rewired the stator for a high-speed turbine when high speed to them may mean uh, stuff like power spout and you know where it's a thousand rpm and uh, so I don't know that may be a problem see the, th the interesting thing is it wants to sit there it could go further but if it was left to its own devices it there's a zone where it, it sort of like holds itself so that I think is due to the fact of the smaller magnets, maybe that it wants to hold itself a little bit higher up. Let me put the frame back on. I'm just going to try tightening it up there. Let's 
definitely in a very bad place. I'll be hitting on one of the bolts. But then again, they don't seem to be as far out. See, that's interesting because that's sort of finds its zone there. Don't forget, when the two stators are joined together, you have to have them in the perfect right place. I haven't got that place marked up or anything like that, but what you can do is you turn it uh, on the turbine, loosen the gear wheel off, then turn it, and if you feel resistance, what you have to do is undo this bolt and then move it over a few degrees. So if you're trying to run two stators, make sure you can actually have it so they're either set in stone where you know it'll turn or that you can adjust them. So you've definitely got some that I can get rid of there, look, on, on the nut. So that's the job for now, is take the bolts out, clean this up, get it looking less garbage. There's a <clears throat> rusty bracket that needs painting. Still pretty cool in its own way, but rusty. So I like the natural metal look, but everything's getting painted in anti-rust paint from now on. Number two. 
Now the other thing is, because of the problems with the welding, you'll, you'll actually see in one of my early videos, the bearings worked perfectly and everything spun round and it was aligned super sweet but once the bearing went kaput through my own fault I had to get a grinder and skim a load I think that's the right word off the top of these so they, they normally you would be able to see the stacks of uh, very thin plates but you can't because it's all been ground down so that certainly isn't ideal and doesn't help anything Gone a bit OTT there, but what the hell. Should get in everywhere it needs to go. So I'll leave those out to dry and then I'll flip them over and do the other side. <laughs> 